This video has been sponsored by Whatnot. More on them at the end of the video. Pokeballs at the ready, folks. Professor Oak has asked you to go out into the wilds of Kanto and catch 151 different species of Pokemon. That's cute. As many of you know, over the last five or six years, I have hosted one of the most difficult, hardcore, hard as nails Pokedex challenges that you will ever do, the Master Dex. It's come in a few different forms and I've changed the rules generally each time. And I'm putting out there what is kind of sort of gonna be the almost the definitive version, the final version that will cover everything for the foreseeable future. That's because the Nintendo 3DS eShop is out. And if the eShop is out, what does that mean for Pokemon Bank? Does that mean the whole challenge has to be Sword and Shield onwards? Or what even is the challenge? Toby, you're getting ahead of yourself. Well, the challenge is simple. To play, say, Virtual Console, Red, Blue, and Yellow, and get all of your first 151 Pokemon from there. 150. Mew doesn't matter. The mythicals don't matter. But then, same deal for Johto. Just make sure you get all your Johto native Pokemon from Virtual Console, Gold, Silver, Crystal, Hoenn from Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and so on and so forth. What about remakes, I hear you ask? Well, the goal was to always try and get the Pokemon in its original format. So, for example, all of the unknown forms came out in Generation 2. So, for those, it would be Virtual Console, Gold, Silver, Crystal. But unknown exclamation mark and question mark actually came out with Fire Red, Leaf Green. So, you have to get them from there. The idea being this challenge forces you to play every single Pokemon game, get every single Pokemon, get every single form, every single gender variant, and get it from where it natively came from. And then on top of that, there were challenges. Things like getting the Ho-Oh from Pokemon Coliseum or Lugia from XD Gale of Darkness and making sure they were part of the Pokedex as well for the most hardcore, badass Pokedex that there's ever been. Of course, this challenge is super exclusionary. You need every single console that Pokemon's been on as well as like all of the different games. And that's the point. This is not a beginner Pokemon challenge. It is a challenge for the hardcores who have perhaps already completed a living Dex. So for this year, here are the rules. Here's the setup. And I'm not going to go through every single Pokemon. I'm just going to give you the broad strokes to see if this challenge really is for you. So here you go. Get your collector's hat on. This is the latest version of the Pokemon Master Dex for the ultimate Pokedex ever. So first off, in our collecting community over on Discord, we've decided that the 3DS eShop, well, Pokemon Bank, most copies of 3DSs have Pokemon Bank on. So we're not excluding it. The whole point of the challenge is to play every single copy of Pokemon. And if you are one of those people that does not have a 3DS with Pokemon Bank on, getting hold of one is not going to be hard. Not relative to getting every single Pokemon game. You know what I mean? If you're already going that far, I'm sure you'll be able to find a 3DS with Pokemon Bank and Pokemon the Pokey Transporter on. So we're not too worried about that. So for that reason, reason your first 151 pokemon have to come from the kanto region now that can be that's opened up that could be the virtual console games that can be let's go pikachu and eevee or that could be fire red leaf green the first 150 pokemon plus all of the forms and variants of that pokemon from within that game so that's gender variants i don't think there's any kanto pokemon that have native forms no so just gender variants for generation one then comes the johto pokemon again you can get them from gold silver crystal virtual console or heart gold soul silver and yeah all of the forms all the unknown including exclamation mark and question mark needs to come from Johto. So for that reason, you'll need to do the exclamation mark and question mark in Heart Gold Soul Silver. All your Hoenn Pokemon can be from Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Omega Ruby, or Alpha Sapphire, Sinnoh Pokemon from Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, or Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Unovan Pokemon from Black and White and Black and White 2, Kalos Pokemon from XY, Alola Pokemon from Sun and Moon, Notch, Sun and Notch Moon, or Galar Pokemon from Sword and Shield, all Hisui Pokemon from uh, Legends Arceus, the only region game to have Hisui in it, and then finally, all your Paldean Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet breathe. That's just where we're getting started. That's just for the living decks. That's just for having one of every Pokemon. Now, that is the base challenge. Mythical Pokemon, again, they can come from absolutely anywhere. That's the base challenge. And if you've done that, good for you. Well done. You've done the Master Decks. But to make this Pokedex challenge a little bit harder for you, we've got a gift. And those are stars. You can get bronze stars, silver stars, gold stars, and even platinum stars. There's also like a cool platinum ribbon for a Pokemon with as many ribbons and marks as possible, but we'll get there. Now, I'm not going to go through and tell you every single star because there are over 200 potential of these kind of star Pokemon that you can get hold of. These range from the bronze stars, so things like getting your Eevee from Virtual Console Red, Blue, and Yellow and evolving it into Espeon and Umbreon. And Espeon and Umbreon, they are each a bronze star, provided they've come from the Virtual Console Red, Blue, Yellow. They've come from the native region where Eevee was first from, to simple things like the partner cap Pikachu, which you get in Sun and Moon by scanning a QR code, or Megina from Sun and Moon, which again, you get via scanning
scanning a QR code. It's an easy challenge, but this forces you to play with all of like the extra peripheral stuff. We're talking about the Pokey Walker, QR codes, Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Of course, Coliseum, the Ho-Oh that I mentioned before, that's not a bronze star. That's a gold star because it's hard to get. Actually, that one's really hard. I think we got that one down as platinum. There are currently 100 bronze stars followed by 50 silver stars. These include things like making sure that you've got your Farfetch'd, Tauros, Mr. Mime, and uh, what's the other one? Kangaskhan from Pokemon Go because they're like regional exclusives. Or a Darkrai, Manaphy, or Fione from Pokemon Legends Arceus. These are silver stars. They're hard challenges, but not impossible at all. Rack up as many stars as you can. Then we got those gold stars. Things like, and yes, I can confirm, getting the Ho-Oh from Pokemon Coliseum, or the Lugia from Gale of Darkness, or the Dream Radar Therian forms of Landris, Tornadus, and Thunderous. Now that the Dream Radar is not going to be downloadable again after this point, these are gold stars. They're hard to get hold of because the challenges you have to face to do them are either really, really big, or the chances of finding the, like, the actual software you need to get these Pokemon really, really scarce. And then, of course, you've got the Platinum Stars. These are exceptional challenges. Currently, we have just 20 Platinum Stars listed, but the idea here is that the wonderful community, including yourself, if you have any ideas for any of these challenges, can head over to the community Discord, linked in the description, uh, and head on over and discuss and suggest any challenge ideas that you might have. A Platinum Star is something like a Mirage Island Why Not, or two matching spinder is a platinum star and of course yes if you want to do the whole challenge with shiny pokemon you can do a ghost star if you want that's the ghost star because you'll get it by the time you're dead now this is a truly wild pokemon challenge for those of you who have already been partaking in the challenge you'll find that a lot of the pokemon you've already caught fit into this and for new people this might be really daunting and i want to reassure you you don't need to complete this in a hurry there's no prize for this other than bragging rights to your friends Wait, we're all playing Pokemon and getting accommodations based on like how well we do. We don't have friends. But you know, you get bragging rights to yourself, so there's that. Plus, perhaps you're like me and you're like, you know what, I've released my entire living Pokedex, so let's do something different. I'm gonna introduce you to a sub-challenge. I've got my own personal one that I've made and that is the Retro Challenge. For the Retro Challenge, I can put all my 3DS and Switch games aside because this challenge exists entirely within the realm of Generations 3 to Generations 5. It's a huge ecosystem of games. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Pokemon Coliseum, Gale of Darkness, Pokemon Channel. There's the Eon Ticket and the Jirachi bonus disc and the Japanese Celebi bonus disc. Uh, of course, then there's Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, the Pokey Walker Battle Revolution on the Nintendo Wii, Black, White, Black and White 2, and of course, distribution cartridges for some of those event Pokemon on that are super rare and out there somewhere in the world. There's even, of course, the Dream Radar 3DS game, but you connect it to Black and White 2. The idea being that with this set of technology, they can never deactivate the PAL Park. That tech is hardware, so it's always going to be there. The goal for that challenge is simple. Use Pokemon Black and White 2 as your Pokemon home. You must catch all your Kanto Pokemon from Fire Red, Leaf Green, all your Johto Pokemon from Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, all your Hoenn Pokemon from Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, all your uh, Sido Pokemon from Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, and all your Unova Pokemon from black and white black and white 2 is like the hub world and then yes once again i've written out my own silver and gold stars for this challenge the encourage being of course to go meet up with people in person you can trade for some of those rare event pokemon why maybe one of those mythological friends that i was talking about has like a copy of pokemon channel and you can get the jirachi from that or maybe someone has the copy of pokemon ruby sapphire box for the gamecube that is my favorite ecosystem and that's the challenge i'm going to be doing once again you can suggest variants one of the variants that Mystical Man Joe has come up with is the Grand Oak Challenge, which is if you really aren't don't want to have to deal with 3DSs and stuff, it's everything Sword and Shield onwards. So for now, I want the Master Decks to be a community-driven effort. Head on over to my Discord, join the servers, check out all of the various uh, spreadsheets that are available in relation to these challenges. A uh, thank you hugely to Mystical Man Joe and Fruit, who have been just hugely leading the charge on this. They are the ones who developed the spreadsheet, who have been helping me come up with ideas for what should be what stuff that kind of thing and have a pretty good feel for what should or shouldn't be part of the challenges of course get suggesting are there any challenges that you, you you know you think you read the spreadsheet and you're like yeah but toby what about that really rare obscure psyduck that you can only get by trading between gens one and six I, I i don't know but maybe you know because the pokemon is just that rare that only you know about it so we want to hear about it over in the community head on over to the discord and sign up for whichever element of the master Dex challenge you fancy the most or go for the full 
thing go for the main master decks challenge because that is a challenge that can now just continue to be updated as new pokemon release far into the future with the dlcs new games spin-offs all that jazz i guess we're gonna have to incorporate some pokemon sleep soon Speaking of collecting, if you like collecting Pokemon in other ways, perhaps Pokemon cards, I gotta say a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Whatnot. Thank you, Whatnot, for sponsoring this video. Whatnot is a live buying and selling collectibles platform. It's the perfect place to bolster up your collection by hunting down Pokemon cards. By clicking the link at the top of the description or scanning the QR code on screen, you can head on over to the collector community, see who's live and see what packs they're opening up and then decide to place a bid if you like. You might well get a pack for under retail price or perhaps various individual singles. It's not just Pokemon cards. There's also Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pop Funkos and any collectible you can think of. It's a great way for expanding your collection. And if you click that link, you get 10 pounds credit to your account for absolutely free if you use the link or the QR code and it gives some kickback to me. So thank you for the support. And if you're someone looking to sell your collectibles, it's a really quick and easy way to just make some fast money uh you show the thing that you're selling live on stream so there's no confusion about what it is and it's gone within seconds make sure also to head on over to my account and have my next stream favorited uh, and i will be joining you soon with some more pokemon cards thank you to what for sponsoring this video and of course so hi pokemon masters hello there it's me professor oak this video is over so please choose another one wisely and quickly bye bye just the biggest thank you to those of you who are supporting this channel on Patreon, and a special thank you to the big patrons of the month, Jed Rubin, Charmander Anzibal, Anthony Lee, The Elgator, and Michael Hornshoe. Thank you so much.